So in today's tutorial, so we'll be looking at Monte Carlo simulation. We will look at some introduction, Monte Carlo techniques, and some example in R. Monte Carlo simulation, by definition, is a method of estimating the value of a known quantity using the principles of inferential statistics. We have two types of Monte Carlo methods. We have the parametric bootstrap, which involves repeated sampling from a fully specified distribution or a given probability model and we also have the non-parametric bootstrap which involves risk sampling from an observed sample. When do we apply this? Monte Carlo methods can be applied to estimate parameters of the sampling distribution of a statistic, mean square error, percentiles or other quantities of interest. It can also be used to assess the coverage probability for confidence intervals to find an empirical type 1 error rate of a test procedure, to estimate the power of a test and to compare the performance of different procedures. We will be looking at the non-parametric bootstrapping and want to start with bootstrapping as one of the Monte Carlo techniques. We will be looking at the parametric example of the parametric bootstrap when we get into R. So what is bootstrapping? Bootstrapping is a type of Monte Carlo methods that estimates the distribution of a population by resampling. And in order to estimate or assess the accuracy of the estimate that you have obtained, we would like to make use of the standard error and the bias. Right. So let's look at how Monte Carlo um, bootstrapping works. The steps for bootstrapping. For each bootstrap replicate index b starting from one to up to the last number that's number of replicate b we generate sample by sampling with replacement from the observed sample then we compute the corresponding estimate from the bootstrap sample compute the mean of the bootstrap replication defined as shown below so we need this so that we can compute for the bias and standard error to help us in making some statistical inferences right so I want to use some um, data set to illustrate these first three steps. So assuming we have this observation, 10 observations, that's the number of, that's the sample size, and we want to look at the correlation between height and age. Um, from the observed sample, this is the estimate, this is the correlation that we obtain, minus 0 0.28, um, minus 0 0.28, six zero right so we want to know how we can use bootstrapping to estimate this um, parameter of interest that correlation that we are interested in how do we use bootstrapping to do this with bootstrapping for the first replicate we have to we need a sample size of 10 since the number of observations that we had from the observed sample was 10 so we, uh, we need a sample size of 10, but this sampling is done with replacement. Then once we obtain that, we compute for the corresponding estimate. Here in our example, we are looking at correlation. We can also look at regression coefficient or analysis of variance, depending on the kind of state that you are dealing with. In this example, we are interested in computing the correlation for the observed sample. So that's the correlation. It computes for the correlation for the first experiment or the first replicate. Then for the next experiment or trial, it also picks a sample size of 10 with replacement. So it means that each observation can appear more than once. Okay, we can have the first observation appearing more than once here. Okay, so let me go back and demonstrate that so with replacement it means that we can the first observation can be picked then it can pick the second observation as the second index it picks the third observation as, as, as the third index then it can go back to pick the first observation as the fourth index up to the tenth index right so once we have the number of observations for each replicate it computes the corresponding estimate up to the last number of replicates um, in literature there's no general rule of thumb for the number of replicates right but it has been suggested that the number of replicates 
can range from 100 to 500 or sometimes 200 to 500 depending on the kind of study that you are dealing with most of the time when you are dealing with university study you can look at the number of replicates can range from 100 to 500 you, you, you are good to go with that but if you are dealing with any other study multivari study or other kind of study you can look at more than 10,000 replications 1,000 replications or 1 million replications right so once we are done with the replications and the corresponding estimate for each replications we compute the mean define as that so the mean is defined as shown here right so that's how we compute for the mean for the replicates for the corresponding estimates right so we have to sum the whole of these values and divide by the number of replicates to get the mean once we get the mean we can move on to the next step to compute for the bias and standard error so this the formula for the um, standard error one the square root of one divided by b minus one then we look at the square deviations of the of our replicate um, the, the the estimate from our replicate minus the mean of the bootstrap replicate the square deviations of it to get a standard error then we can also look at the bias right that's the difference between the um, mean estimate from the bootstrap and, and the estimate from the observed sample right that basically gives us the um, bias right so once we are done with this we can then uh, make some inferences with this information that we have right so um, I think we are good to go now so I think in the next video we'll be looking at how to um, use R to demonstrate how bootstrapping works so I, I, I hope you stick and stay and watch how we use R for bootstrapping